Can you make a knife out of bamboo? Why would you? Well, there's an interesting theory that the Chinese didn't really have much in the way of sophisticated stone tools in the Stone Age because they had plenty of bamboo. You also got to go mining for flint. It doesn't just grow. Bamboo was, was used as scaffolding. It probably still is, actually, in some parts of the, that region. And there's plenty of it. Why bother going mining when you can just sort of take your knife, chop a bit down, and then work it into a knife? Because it probably doesn't last as long as a bit of stone. But there's more of it. There's much more bamboo than there is stone. So I thought I'd have a go. And it's actually not very difficult. You find a piece of bamboo, you split it, keep cutting it down. It's not massively sharp, particularly strong, but obviously you can have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these for the effort that would go into making a stone knife. Flint napping isn't very easy, uh, as I found out, trying to make a hand axe. That's, I think, about as close as it's going to get. Trees are safe. So, with our bamboo knife, what can we cut? Does it cut, even? Let's see. Uh, Chilli. And... Yep. And of course, it's got two blades. Um, it does cut, but I have to say, stone knife does a much, much better job. But if you haven't got any stone, I suppose bamboo, you could use. Can we cut up fruit? Actually, rather surprisingly well. Bye bye, kiwi. And what about a bit of meat? A bit of beef, excuse me. I really, really can't stand handling raw meat. So let's give this bit of beef a slice. Actually, that's working fairly well. I know it's thin slices of beef. Let's try and thicken it. There we go. It does actually work. <laughs> Right. Now, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Well, I suppose if you've got no choice, then someone like this is better than nothing. Um, you're not going to be skinning a woolly, woolly mammoth with it, I don't think. But they are very, very easy to make. As we shall see with the new blue background. What you need is essentially a piece of bamboo and something to cut it with. So perhaps we've got a stone knife here. Let's see if we can cut this. Yeah, all right, we can. I suspect one of the theory, one of the reasons behind this theory is that people use metal knives. It's a lot easier to chop up a bit of bamboo with a metal knife, which does obviously beg the question, why do people think it's easier to do with a stone knife? Oops, it's not. It takes ages to do it with a stone knife, and it doesn't take, it's actually fairly tough doing it with a metal knife. So, two bits of bamboo. That in itself actually is fairly sharp. Ish. Obviously, the thinner you get it, the better it is. And there was a, a partly in this program, actually, the, the lady who was making this, Professor Alice Roberts, whoa, um, actually managed to cut a finger open while trying to do this. So, that's the basic thing. And will it work on a potato? Not really, that's sort of slicing it. So if you want crisps. I suspect the problem with this is that if you want to make a, a bamboo knife, you're going to need a bigger chunk of bamboo than, you know, a bit you've nicked out your neighbour's garden. I think if you had a bigger bit, it might actually work a bit more successfully. Is it still a workable theory? It's interesting that in the documentary, they sort of showed it being made and then went on to make arrowheads instead, which were actually... A lot more effective so theory hmm don't know it's been an interesting <laughs> interesting five minutes though i hope you agree